<clears throat> hey, hey again. It's your favorite actual fact checker. Um, so I was looking up this Omnibus Crime Control and Safe Streets Act of 1968, and it's very, very difficult for me to find the entire thing. Um, and I'm still confused on exactly how to search for it, if it's under U.S. Criminal Code or Title Law, so... But there's a couple things I found in here that are very interesting. Um, and I'm going to be working backwards on this. I'm starting from the bottom. So this is page 48. But if you look right here, see that right there? Doesn't it look like someone whited something out? That's not on my computer. See how it moves down? It looks like they whited something out right there. But I'm not sure. Again, this was 1968. But they still use this, and I'm not exactly sure of the amendments. So there's a lot of research that goes into this. So um, this kind of, just on a side note, is I know people have a thing. They want term limits for Congress, and I've researched both sides. And this right here is a valid reason why term limits are not a good idea, because... It can take a long time for you to know all this stuff and where to look for stuff in certain bills. So if you were to put term limits on Congress, I mean, you'd have to do 16 years at least. I think that should that would be it because uh, too little, they could be wasting time and then too much you get this problem. But the problem isn't term limits. The problem is the people. So, um, but a lot of what this bill section goes over, I'm reading, it has a lot to do with, um, a couple of things. It's funny, uh, warrants and gun control. So for all of you that think gun control is a recent issue, it's not, it's been in this at 1967. And this is funny. I came across this Congress hereby find and declares that the receipt possession or transportation of a firearm by felons, veterans who are other than honorably discharged, mental incompetence, aliens who are illegal, and former citizens who have renounced their citizenship cons constitutes a burden on commerce or a threat, a threat to the safety of the President of the United States. Did you guys hear that? So if you are a veteran and you are other than honorably discharged, you are automatically considered a threat to the President. Uh, a threat to free speech, mm -hmm. a threat to the operation of government. So, that's crazy. I heard a lot about that, but I never believed it. <laughs> now are you. So, there's another thing here. And then eventually I'm going to get to my main point of this video. Uh, there's things in here about riot and civil disorders. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm going to find this. I didn't remember the fucking page, but there's a lot and lot of interesting <laughs> stuff in here. Mm. Oh, explosives and manufacturing them. Where the hell did it go? Okay, here's more on firearms. Let me see if I can find it. Because um, even in this bill, it states that the gun problem in America actually stems from other countries dumping their guns that they don't use anymore on us. And the fact that the United States has a war complex. That's basically what it says. So... Our gun control problem or our gun problem is directly related to the military industrial complex. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I can't find it. I won't buy it, but let me find the main point here that I was trying to get at. So, that section 3052 that I was talking about that's in the 
Marijuana Legalization Act. There's a very small subsection in here of it, if it's the right one. I'm not exactly sure it is the correct one completely. Come on. Yeah, that's close. It's at the bottom of a page, so. I'm going to read the Patriot Act next because like this, okay. Wire interception and interception of oral communications, so wiretaps and stuff. Uh, you know, the Patriot Act, from what I've heard, gets rid of the need for warrants on that stuff. So I'm going to read the Patriot Act. Okay, right here. So, come on. All right. So, admissibility of confessions and, and evidence. So, like I said, that crime bill. Section 3052A of Part 00. Now, I'm not sure. Is this Part 0? I'll look it up later, but anyways, for reference, why not? Admissibility of confessions is 3051, but 3052 is right here. And what is 3052? It's more admissibility and evidence of eyewitness testimony. So I don't think this is correct for why 50% of the that trust fund would go to the attorney general. But I guess it makes sense for federal cases. So once again, the United States and its... Uh, prison system industrial complex i guess you would call it but and then part b analysis of chapters amended by adding so so there you go but if i find more on it i'll post it